Uh, okay. Um, yeah, primary audio is working. Excellent. Uh, so, um, <coughs> so we are moving on to uh, nuclear energy today. So, uh, we have covered uh, water power and uh, bioenergy, so we will uh, move on to nuclear energy today. So we talk about uh, nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. So in uh, nuclear fission, what happens is a, um, <coughs> um, a uranium-235 uh, uh, connects with a, a, a neutron and uh, it then uh, disintegrates into three neutrons and uh, krypton and barium, krypton 89 and barium 144. And in nuclear fusion what happens is uh, deuterium and uh, tritium will join together and will make uh, a neutron and helium. Okay. So <coughs> the byproduct in nuclear fusion is helium. So in both the cases, uh, you uh, that there will be um, release of a neutron or neutrons. Uh, this this is what uh, generates the energy during this. Uh, th this is an uh, exothermic <coughs> um, reaction in, in nuclear though. Uh, so uh, you you have a lot of uh, uh, heat generated uh, due to uh, the uh, nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. Historically, uh, the first uh, nuclear reactor was uh, uh, in created in uh, Chica what is what you call the Chicago pile. Uh, the first nuclear reactor in uh, December nineteen forty two, um, and um, in 1956, uh, UK uh, started its first uh, nuclear power station. So you can see the Queen there um, in, the, in the nuclear power station in uh, uh, called Hole uh, at Windscale. And uh, the next one, uh, the next reactor, uh, Magnox uh, at Berkeley near River. Uh, and was first comma comma <coughs> was the first commercial uh, nuclear power plant uh, uh, that was in England again and built in 1956 uh, between 1956 and 1962. Uh, you you know nuclear power was earlier used for destructive purposes for for the nuclear bomb. Yes. The current global status uh, is uh, United States as the most number of uh, nuclear power stations and then uh, France, then uh, Japan, uh, then uh, Russia uh, and and South Korea. Uh, these are um, capital intensive uh, installations so we were talking about uh, hydropower stations earlier but uh, nuclear power stations could be even more expensive. So uh, this is uh, the terawatt hours of nuclear power generated in, in different countries uh, at the current moment. So USA 790, um, France 405, uh, etc. So, so 78% of uh, France's uh, energy is generated using nuclear nuclear power. Belgium is the country adjacent to that. They also have 54%. Slovakia, uh, Ukraine, Hungary, Slovenia, Switzerland, they all have nuclear power using Sweden. And uh, we are way below there. Uh, we, we still uh, depend on uh, coal, um, uh, natural gas, um, and some uh, wind energy now as well. So, 
So um, China is also big on nuclear power. So it, uh, the prediction in 2030 and 35, uh, China will uh, have the highest number of uh, nuclear power um, consumption, perhaps. Uh, in the UK status is uh, <clears throat> so we had uh, uh, a lot of uh, nuclear power stations uh, project uh, in we, we had uh, 12 uh, terawatt uh, capacity before uh, but uh, some of them have been commissioned now uh, and uh, nowadays uh, we, we are looking at another installation at some point. So um, genera in the second generation we have advanced gas school reactors uh, so these are um, unique to UK. Mo most uh, these are the most efficient nuclear power stations ever built. Uh, and uh, 14 reactors are operating. So generation 2B is pressurized water reactor. Most common reactor worldwide. Uh, so UK has one uh, reactor of that. Okay, so we'll look at how uh, nuclear fission energy is um, generated. So, so uh, ne neutron uh, will go and uh, hit a uranium nucleus and the uranium nucleus uh, splits into two 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 smaller nuclei and then uh, this uh, this will go and hit uh, further more <coughs> nu uranium nuclei and uh, so um, creating uh, and and releasing uh, neutrons and creating the re releasing neutrons and uh, going and uh, hitting another uh, uh, nucleus and creating the fission action so this is a kind of a chain reaction uh, but um, and, and it is a very fast reaction so that uh, therefore it's uh, difficult to control but we still need to control And the linear chain reaction, uh, so it's a, it's a, what you call a linear chain chain reaction. So uh, uh, so um, an expanding chain reaction uh, has to be sustained, and uh, you can't have uh, so you you sustain it by um, dimensions mostly. Um, so you can't have large amounts of uh, <laughs> nuclear material together. So if you leave that. To happen that will that will create a bomb because it's the, the, the reaction is very fast and it will be propagating very fast as well uh, and it will be multiplying very fast also if you have a lot of material so you um, you, you, you have to have uh, you, you have to make sure that you don't have enough material for that to make a bomb And then uh, <clears throat> uh, we'll look at the global uh, uranium uh, reserves. So uh, there are uh, uranium reserves in, in uh, Russia, in uh, Kazakhstan, in Australia, in Brazil, US, uh, uh, Nigeria, Namibia, South Africa. So this is Niger actually, um, Jordan, uh, Ukraine. So, uh, and there may be uh, other sites which we don't which we haven't um, found or explored so far so uranium processing uh, uh, you you have two um, methods which is which are called dynamic treatment uh, so these are this uh, so you use a high grade o where you have point one more than point one percent uh, point more than point one percent uranium content and uh, the, you crush and gr grind it mechanically and uh, you can pro you process it and purify with chemical solutions and uh, then <clears throat> you extract it from the liquor 
and then you wash it and filter it and uh, you get the precipitate right so that's like uh, similar to something like milk powder creation I would say uh, so you, you you have the mass you, you, you have the clay basically with the point zero point sorry zero point one percent uranium content so you crush it grind it and uh, you purify it then uh, then you make a slurry and uh, and you extract uh, you wash it and filter it and extract only the uranium and then what then you you have something called a uh, uh, acid heap uh, leaching uh, so it is when when you are uh, when you have a low grade ore uh, where your uranium content is less than 1% so um, then uh, so uh, then again you ca crush it uh, then you uh, aggregate uh, particles in what you call an ag agglomerator using water and acid uh, uh, to enhance the permeability and stability of the heaps and then uh, ore is heaped up by stackers at the leach pads and then uh, an acid solution uh, <coughs> uh, you, so you then 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 you uh, put acid on it and leave it for like three months and uh, then you you can collect the uranium bearing uh, uh, solution uh, again to use the solution uh, to extract the uranium so once you have after drying a solid uh, concentrated uranium is ob obtained uh, so it's it's kind of it's a yellow cake containing around 75 percent uranium uh, or 700 kil kilograms per metric ton it's not uh, it's not uh, uh, very heavy actually uh, so the, the so and then the, this yellow cake is packed and put into barrels. So uh, so that's your uranium uh, cake, uranium pa it's like uranium cake powder. And uh, you send it to uh, for the chemical uh, processing. So <coughs> so each ton of uranium uh, ore, so uranium ore that's the that's the soil uh, will create. Okay, create uh, will will produce about two two kilograms of uranium cake so two kilograms is one 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 point five kilograms of actual uranium uh, because it's about 75 percent so only se point seven of uh, uranium is in yellow cake uh, uh, is uh, u two three five and uh, most of the most of the rest is u two three seven which does not work for fission power so only Point seven is um, used of that, so that's the normal uranium, which is two hundred thirty eight U two three eight, and and the other isotope is two hundred U two three five. That is what is useful. That is only about seven point seven percent of 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 that uh, uranium that you uh, processed. So then your yellow cake is converted into UF6 and that compound is enriched using gaseous diffusion and or centrifuge or centrifuge and a laser so uh, so that's that's a, that's a gaseous uh, diffuser that's a centrifuge laser so <coughs> so this is uh, this steam will have two th U235 enriched steam so so that that is U UF6 gas is yellow, yeah, so uh, yeah, this is yellow cake is converted into UF6 gas and then you steam it so with the steam you you will get you 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 235 and then um or, or you can have uh, you, you you have the UF6 gas again then then you have la laser um directed laser beam directed at uh, the um, jet here and then uh, then you have a negatively charged collector on top and then uh, you you you, have, you you get the um you you uh, 235 again here um, so 
civil use uranium uh, is uh, U35 proportion is increased to about 4, 4 to 5 percent to produce uh, fuel for power stations so that's low uh, concentration but uh, for military, military grade uranium you, you have 90 percent U235 for nuclear weapons so we are not going into that region sorry we don't like that and then <coughs> uh, you can you can have uh, the other arrangement like in a centrifuge as well so that's that's a centrifuge uh, you can have uh, uh, you can have a depleted steam going on going out like that uh, and the uranium uh, steam uh, enriched steam going out from here so um, laser enrichment is a uh, <coughs> is a is a risky business so uh, and uh, in gaseous the ga gaseous, gaseous uh, diffusion cost per separate unit it costs about six one hundred sixty dollars gas centrifuge is one hundred hundred dollars and laser enrichment is about thirty dollars so So in a reactor, you have uh, these uh, elements, uh, the, the fuel, in which case uranium, uh, and then you have what you call a moderator, a coolant, uh, control rods, and a reactor vessel uh, as well. So, um, so you have a <coughs> you have this reactor vessel, and then uh, th these are the uh, control rods, uranium control rods. So these can can contain uranium and uh, everything is uh, is within a building and uh, then uh, you you have what you call the uh, uh, moderator which slows down the uh, neutrons and uh, these are the uranium rods so these are controlled rods these are the <coughs> uranium fuel rods and uh, these are all inside a seal react reactor vessel. Okay. So uh, <coughs> then uh, UF6 is converted into uh, U U UO2, which is uranium oxide 2 oxide, which is the then made to fuel pellets. Fuel pellets are controlled into long uh, tubes. So, so these are fuel pellets. Uh, and these pellets are made into large lo long tubes okay. uh, and fu fuel rods are collected into bundles 200 rods per bundle approximately and uh, 175 bundles in a core okay so the energy uh, concentration is uh, so one pellet is equal to like three barrels of oil or one ton of coal or one cord of uh, wood or 17,000 cubic <coughs> feet of natural gas this is about um, roughly about 15 cubic meters I would say So fuel rods with pellets are grouped into fuel assemb assemblies, and uh, then uh, the material that go uh, that the fuel rods are made out of is called cladding. Okay. So the fuel rods are made out of uh, what you call cladding, and uh, these are perme these must be permeable actually. <coughs> so uh, and they they are they they should be able also they should also be able to uh, withstand high heats. So they are normally made of uh, stainless steel or uh, zinc alloy. Uh, that means uh, uh, alloy that has zirconium. And then <coughs> this is what happens in a moderator. Mod uh, moderator controlled uh, fission of uranium two three five. Uh, so. <coughs> So through through this permeable uh, 
through, through, the, through the permeable wall. Uh, then uh, once the uh, slow neutron goes and hits the uranium-235 nucleus, and it so it it releases uh, fast neutrons, uh, and those neutrons are connected in the in what you call the moderator. And then again, some of that will go can go and hit uh, another neutron, another nucleus, and again release um, <coughs> neutrons. So um, you, you, neutrons are slowed down by um, having them collide, collide with uh, light atoms and uh, <coughs> highest level of energy transfer occurs when the mass of the colliding particles are equal. So uh, neutrino and, uh, and hydrogen collide, so then you can, you, you, the energy will be released. So that means due to this reaction, due to this process, heat is generated. Process heat is generated. So um, you you have what you call the controlled rods and and neutrons. Controlled rods are made of uh, material that absorbs excess neutrons. Okay, usually uh, boron or uh, cadmium. So you you have to have controlled rods to. <coughs> you see. <coughs> these are uranium fuel rods so this is where the reaction takes place then you have the control rods to control control it otherwise it can explode inside the air so the rate of fission can be controlled by the using these control rods so so uh, <coughs> you, you you can fully, fully if you fully inst insert the control rod and uh, it it will stop the reaction and it can you can shut down the plant so, okay um and uh, now uh we need to look at how we can uh, ec how how we can take this uh, heat out it gen generated heat out okay. you you can have what you call a boiling uh, water reactor so what you uh, do is uh, you you have uh, the reaction uh, chamber so you send uh, water through the through this chamber and heat the water and uh, you use and you use that hot water uh, uh, and you run it through a turbine okay so this is basically a, a uh, Rankin cycle, but uh, the heating device for the Rankin cycle is nuclear reaction. So this is a simple design. Water heater in reactor is converted to steam uh, and used directly to drive um, a turbine, which is connected to a generator. Okay, and mind you, this water goes through the reactor. Therefore, this is this is a closed cycle uh, Rank Rankin cycle not an open cycle okay so you have to have a condenser to cool this uh, water coming out of the turbine and put it put, put back through the nuclear reactor so uh, this control rods inserted from beneath the reactor and hydraulically di driven the, so you can reach a reach pressures up to 69 bar which is good temperatures of 285 celsius uh, <clears throat> so, uh, boiling water reactor current ones have uh, 570 to 1300 uh, megawatt genera electric generation. So, they are about 33% efficient, not great, 36. 33% uh, gen generation efficiency in power industry is not, not regarded as very good. Then you have what you call the re uh, pressurized water reactors. So, what you do here is you, you have a you have a steam you have a separate steam generator, and then then you have a the, you you have a pressurized uh, internal circuit in uh, using the reactor vessel. So you you have another 
uh, circuit here. So now in here, water goes to the reactor, boils through, boils uh, in the reactor and comes out. Okay, and in the pressurized water reactor, you have a separate circuit uh, for the for water and separate circuit for the nuclear material. So this was uh, originally designed for submarines. Uh, uh, because uh, you know that you know most of the submarines uh, in, in the US were run by um, uh, nuclear power because of the high um, density of um, power uh, water heated reactor is used to create a secondary circuit via a steam generator as you know so that secondary um, circuit is used to run the turbine again uh, like earlier So uh, you can go up to pressures of 150 fiber and uh, 350 15 Celsius, uh, which is higher. And uh, again, a similar size of uh, generation. They are also about 33% efficient. So uh, pressurized water reactors are most common worldwide uh, basis for, uh, so this is for used mainly for marine power. Okay. Uh, and uh, Basic IC ideas for uh, pressure uh, boiling water reactors and pressurized water reactors are the uranium is both the fuel and the source of neutrons and the neutrons include fission uh, and the water acts as, acts as the moderator as well as the heat transfer medium. So control rods regulate the energy output by absorbing excess uh, neutrons. So the plus points for uh, the boiling water reactors are low pressure, reducing risk of uh, rupture, causing loss of coolant. Pressure vessels do not become uh, brittle with age. Fewer components as no steam generated and no pressurized vessel. Uh, so they can be used uh, to operate using natural circulation so that the circulation pumps are eliminated. So you don't need circulation pumps, you can run through con using convection. No uh, boric acid leading to less possibility of, uh, so no, no boric acid uh, using. So <clears throat> more uh, complex uh, calculations for consumption of nuclear fuels also requires more instrumentation. So that is, uh, those are the negatives. Yeah? And large pressure, pressure vessel, obviously, and control rods are hydraulically inserted from below. Uh, pressurized wood reactors uh, and uh, no no radioactive ma material uh, in the secondary loop. Control rods automatically drop into reactor in an emergency. More compact, high pressure intake, uh, increased risk and cost. Boric acid must be added to control fission, which is corrosive. Yeah, so those are the negatives and positives. So the other options, uh, <coughs> you have a... Uh, Different react you have different reactor designs. Some use uh, heavy water uh, as a moderator. Some use graphite as a moderator. Some are designed to use pure pure yellow cake without further enrichment. And liquid metals such as sodium or gases such as helium are used uh, possibilities to use the coolants. And then um, another reactor design, uh, advanced gas cooled uh, reactor. So this is a British design, uniquely British. 14 to 15 UK reactors are advanced gas uh, <coughs> gas cooled reactors, uh, graphite uh, moderator, and CO2 coolant. So there is no water in here. And you, you have what you call the breeder reactors. The breeder reactor generates more uh, uh, material than it, it consumes. So. Um, So their fuel economy was better uh, than uh, light wood reactors and uh, <coughs> so um, this became um, less attractive after 1960s when more uranium uh, reserves were found. So um, you have what you call the fast breed reactor or, or neutron. Uh, so and uh, then you have what you call the thermal speed breed reactor. So we'll look at one of those. So uh, liquid metal cooled fast breed reactor is, is like this. So you, 
<coughs> you have the rods here for controlling uh, and uh, then uh, you, you have liquid uh, metal coolant here and uh, then uh, there's a flow baffle here and uh, that's the fossil core and that is the <coughs> reactor pump so you, you don't use uh, water you use uh, sodium liquid uh, to cool it uh, and uh, uranium must be between 15 30 percent uh, enrich when to generate power with fast neutrons uh, while uh, breathing okay. so this is also a secondary um, circuit unit so you have you have your steam circuit uh, as a secondary circuit so um, I always would like um, the li like these types because you don't have uh, <coughs> nuclear material coming out of the system so <coughs> you have uh, what you call uh, liquid metal cooled fast speed reactors uh, so uh, <coughs> so you, you you have two loops uh, like this so um, uh, these are kind of two designs but uh, uh, on the same uh, principle so this is called what you call the pool design this is called the loop design uh, so in here uh, you have a liquid um, metal coolant um, in a pool this is this is this is in a loop so this, this goes around and comes around then uh, you have what you call the thermal breeder reactor thorium reactors uh, so that so it's not uranium that you have it there it's, it's thorium so <coughs> you can you can have thorium you two two three three or oh, oh, and uh, becoming uranium two three three so two electrons so you have uranium 233 colliding with one um, uh, neutron and then releasing two neuro neutrons uh, and will go and hit uh, thorium 233 will become thorium 233 two, thorium 323 two, 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 and then creating a thorium 233 So um, <coughs> you, you, you have a, a what you call a chemical separator, two chemical separators in this and a fissile uh, core and uh, um, for, for this uh, reaction and uh, the product is at the end of the day heat. So this gives uh, a, a scale uh, of what you uh, have, perhaps uh, um, different scales of different uh, uranium, thorium, etc. So, and and the light foot reactors uh, and uh, enriched uranium types. Um, so, <coughs> so th th this fi this uh, figure gives you th well for. 33.4 tons of uranium 238 will have 0.3 tons of uranium 235 okay. and that will have uh, one ton of fission products and that will go to 0.3 tons of uh, plutonium okay. and uh, the problems problem with um, nuclear power uh, is is the danger that it uh, uh, that it causes uh, one is <coughs> just direct heat and uh, one, uh, the other one is uh, the the rate of reaction the, uh, the how fast it can ha happen so <coughs> there was a uh, fire in wind scale uh, 
1957. Uh, <clears throat> the aluminum casing fins cut to increase temperature and uh, rate of uh, plutonium production. Plant pushed push to the limit to produce uh, tritium. So uh, to do to and the emergency workers were not prepared to uh, contain this uh, unprecedented uh, heating. So in um, 1979 uh, there was a disaster uh, when 50% uh, of the coal melt down stuck well with uh, no indicated release water but uh, but uh, even if they go um, if they explode most of the time you contain the explode explosion within uh, the outer core so in Chernobyl <coughs> So some person, um, they, they stupidly uh, turned off the cooling system, graphite tipped uh, control units and uh, so didn't have enough uh, cooling and no containment in the building either. So the graphite, uh, you, you know carbon can catch fire, so due to heat, carbon caught fire, graphite caught fire and uh, it it released like more than 200 times the amount of radiation released in Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Uh, <coughs> so this type of design is not used in other countries so um, yeah. So the so uh, <clears throat> the the uh, two, two in 2017, uh, so they put a new new structure to contain uh, the radioactivity. That's that's the new structure, and uh, three other uh, re reactors uh, were closed in 2000 uh, in Chernobyl. And the Fukushima um, disaster, uh, this this was due to uh, tsunami, uh, so not. The 2004 tsunami, uh, tsunami later. Japan has um, mini tsunamis uh, most of the time. Uh, so Japan is a um, earthquake-ridden uh, country. Um, so uh, due to a tsunami, seawater cooling pumps and backup generators uh, sub were submerged by tsunami, and uh, <coughs> So uh, water level in uh, spent fuel ponds uh, went low and high pressure went at, uh, and, and uh, then it uh, exploded and fire, fires occurred. So um, there are precautions made as well. I mean, this also can create a tsunami uh, uh, due to, uh, to uh, due due to the explosion. Okay. So safety systems in nuclear uh, stations and uh, in, in nuclear industry are very stringent. Uh, are they economically vi viable or unviable? Well, they, I, I would say it's viable if you have a, if you have a lot of capital expenditure. So um, the disadvantages is that um, the uh, are the hidden dangers basically, and the good side of it is uh, if you if your nuclear power station is running fine, it's environmentally friendly the energy generation no carbon dioxide is released uh, to the atmosphere 
So it's clean, plenty, uh, you have enough supply, high energy content in uranium, so small fuel pellets can be provided base load power and energy savings in, in transit. And uh, operating cost is low after construction. Okay, so it, the capital expenditure is only high. Uh, it's uh, the running costs are low. So the on the flip side, the disadvantages are initial costs <coughs> are high, uh, and the byproduct is radioactive, and uh, and this, there's a, always a stage a storage problem and there's a natural di disasters how you face the how you account for the natural disasters and the public perception of nuclear power is not that great uh, uh, I don't know as engineers what do you think <coughs> so um, nuclear waste is they they are also uh, radioactive to a certain level so they 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 are temporarily stored in cumbria so uh, you need a geological disposal facility the waste is very deep underground but there is no south in the uk as yet So we, we, we are still um, handling uh, a lot of uh, nuclear waste, which is still uh, radioactive. So this, 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 these are slow um, death device rather. So British uh, plutonium contains enough energy to run a uh, grid for 500 years electric, uh, if, you, if you were to run nuclear. Okay. Right. So the, uh, and then you have what you call nuclear fusion reactors. So, uh, <coughs> so uh, in south of France there, there is a uh, reactor. Um, in 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 that what you what you called uh, you have a toroidal magnetic field and, and uh, you can uh, elect create electricity um, directly. So uh, tritium and uh, Deut deuterine uh, <coughs> which are isotropes of hydrogen so they they fuse together and release uh, uh, they, they will um, result in helium and a neutron so um, in in this case uh, mass will be lost uh, uh, and uh, then um, a, a lot of generation uh, energy will be generated. So um, it still uh, will um, follow Einstein's law, which is E equals mc squared. So uh, due to the loss of mass, uh, a very large uh, amount of energy will be uh, generated. So um, if we went for fusion reactors, uh, the uh, US lithium supply would last a few hundred years. And still we will have a radioactivity waste problem, radioactive waste problem. So the main problem with nuclear reactors is other waste. Um, if you can have a solution for that you can use nuclear power and um, I'm going to put well this uh, slide these slides are available on blackboard you can click on these uh, links and uh, look at to uh, the go to climate change uh, <coughs>
uh, <coughs> video and also nuclear fission and nuclear fu fusion reactor uh, videos so this uh, finishes the series of uh, lectures uh, in in this subject uh, from me so i have timetabled okay uh, quickly i Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, uh, okay, this is a good time for um, discussions, um, right, 12.41, okay, now, ah, okay, <laughs> uh, did you, did you follow me, uh, okay, I know, I know, yes. Few people might have fell asleep. I don't know. <laughs> oh, th thank you. Um, yeah, it's it's not as um, interesting as uh, in a lecture hall, but uh, I guess uh, I managed this one. It was the last lecture, so um, you need to uh, go to go again and uh, read the material and as well as uh, maybe listen to my uh, narrations uh, also. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, Luke, your, pro uh, your question is, do you have any news on the exam for this module? module? Unfortunately, no, not yet, because they are still talk. I, I uh, received an email um, today. Uh, yeah, I'm 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 just going through the email to just to just to tell you what it what it said basically. Okay. Um, Uh, final assessments. Um, so, one of our colleagues, Jackie Rogers, is uh, it's, she's still uh, trying to decide um, what um, assessments we are going to use for uh, different modules. So, um, well, this module should have had an examination, a final examination. Uh, so, I think we are going. We are still going to go ahead. With that, I don't know in in what mode. Maybe you you might be able to do a, a final exam online. I don't know, but uh, we we haven't decided this as yet, so uh, I can't uh, be certain of that. Okay. So, but as soon as I have a as soon as I have something on it, I will. Um, I will announce uh, on on the module, and um, also um, there is an there is a pay there is a there there, there are some papers um, one paper, and I have put some uh, revision questions as well with the answers. So do all of them for preparation. Uh, I mean, if you follow. What we have done so far, I mean, this can't be a very, very difficult module, but uh, I know uh, the circumstances are different now. Therefore, uh, we need to uh, we need to wait and see what we will have uh, at the exam. Um, as for your coursework in other modules, uh, if you are uh, listening, so the if you had uh, if you had deadlines uh, now, so all the deadlines have been moved forward to the 23rd of uh, April but remember remember that there is no 24 hour late window so 23rd of uh, April is 23rd of April so you have to submit by then but otherwise it will, 
there is no late submission so it's a it's a, it's a one time submission okay so i don't know where uh, about your other modules i'm afraid but this this was the um, this was the announcement and always uh, if you need any support if you have any problems uh, email me and uh, if you need to talk to me you can always email me and uh, if you give me a telephone number i can call you back okay so uh, that's where we are at the moment so uh, we are working from home so um fully full online mode so there therefore you can always uh, if if you have uh, problems in uh, your project so what is going to happen with the project uh, so <clears throat> i i guess you uh, already you know what what is the stance with the project so if you didn't finish your work you need to add uh, a statement uh, saying th this this is what i uh, intended to do uh, and uh, this is what i couldn't do and you can uh, reference to published work um, and uh, y you can reflect on the effect of the covid-19 situation um, in your project report so you will not be penalized for not doing your planned work due to due to um, covid-19 so that is our that is our uh, final stance on that okay um so um i still have uh, my tutorial sessions time tabled but i don't see many students i didn't see any students like yesterday actually but um i am available during those times so if you come online i can discuss problems with you um it's up to you Yes, 3 p.m. tutorial. I mean, um, look, um, I'm available. Uh, I, I I come online, but uh, you can do the tutorial yourself as well. It's up to you. I will be available. But uh, after like 15 minutes, I get on to my other work if there are no students. Um, what past lectures I have uh, the the last week's lecture I did the lecture recorded it and put online so it's already there but if you have specific problems uh, post or um, email me and uh, then I can uh, talk to you not a problem okay Yeah, e e email me if you have a problem. Uh, so I'll 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 get to the bottom of it. Don't worry. Yeah, thank you, thank thank you guys for coming online. So um, I'll say uh, because it's because it's uh, uh, over now. I will uh, I I will uh, say goodbye for now um, and. Uh, I will run a um, revision session next week, uh, same time. Um, but uh, go to the module, go to learning materials, look at, uh, read all the um, material, and do the questions and uh, compare the answers. If you have problems, we will discuss them whenever you want. Okay, and stay safe, guys. Um, thank you. <laughs>